Hello everybody, Ken here today with another episode of our Island Aquarium series. And today, we're kind of going a bit crazy and adding in five, you heard me correctly, five brand new exhibits to the aquarium. Now for, well, I was gonna say actually the first time, no, this isn't technically the otter was the first exhibit we redid this, uh, but we're adding in a couple of non-aquatic animals, being our capybaras, the anaconda, and some tree frogs. Why? Because I thought they'd look cool, and they do look cool, and I absolutely adore several of these animals. We also add in arapaimas and piranhas. Unfortunately, as you'll find out in a few minutes, uh, the piranhas don't really work, but you know what? They're cool nonetheless, and it was fun to add them in. But yeah, this is currently, at least, what I believe will be our final episode of the Amazon area of our aquarium. So next episode, we'll either be moving on to um, potentially some East Asian freshwater fish, potentially like some arowanas, uh, some other fish, and maybe some, maybe the, uh, what is it called, the, the Chinese dwarf crocodile, and maybe the Japanese giant salamander, maybe that's what we'll be doing, or we'll be moving on to the, uh, the tropical saltwater tanks, who knows, we'll see what happens, you know, but anyway, um, yeah, super happy with this build overall. I think it was a lot of fun to build. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Um, I know some of the exhibits aren't as detailed as I could have made them, but I was kind of strapped for time while recording this, so, you know, couldn't quite go as crazy as I usually do. But hopefully we can come back in either another video or um, a live stream, perhaps, if I can get the live streaming stuff to work properly and uh, fix up anything we need to. But yeah, that's... Uh, that's the gist of today's episode. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm having a blast recording this series. I, I hope you guys are really enjoying the Aquarium series so far. I'm thinking, actually, um, we might be doing an episode. I'm not really sure when. Uh, potentially sometime. Maybe it'll be after we finish all of the freshwater tanks. Maybe it'll be once we finish all of the tanks in the aquarium building. But we'll be doing a big episode. Probably will just be a time lapse. But we'll basically just be going through and uh, building up the entire building. So adding in all the roof, the the walls, all the extra building stuff, all the cool things. So that should be a lot of fun. It should be really cool. Very much looking forward to that. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna let the rest of the time lapse play out and I'll meet back up with you guys to build the actual enclosures. All right, everybody, and here is uh, what we got done in the time lapse. So, well, of course, as with tradition, it is now time to go and decorate most of the enclosures. Now you've seen, obviously, I uh, I got most of them. I would say the majority of the exhibits are already done, and that's just down to the fact, you know. Um, how many are we putting in today? One, two, three, four, five enclosures tanks, aquarium. I'm not really sure what to call it today because 
you know, we're having a couple of terrestrial animals as well as some aquatic ones, so it's like, eh, you know, what is this really? Um, but yeah, like, we, <laughs> basically I was like, well, I could build all the enclosures, you know, it, it on camera and, you know, have this be a, like, seven hour long video, or... I do most of it in a time lapse, and then you guys just get to watch the uh, the fun part, I'm sure, uh, which is me rambling while I attempt to build, uh, and then you know you guys get to see a cool looking time lapse of uh, the actual cool stuff being built and all that fun nonsense. Um, sorry, my brain's a bit scattered today, but then again, when isn't it, people? When isn't it? You know, when don't I sound like a half mad or fully mad person? Um, you know what? It was a mistake to put the roof in yet. Um, I'm trying to think. So this is our piranha enclosure, and I'm trying to think how exactly this is going to look. Because uh, I wasn't entirely sure how I was going to do the interior of this. Um, I kind of wanted to make it a bit... Well, obviously full of trees, because I thought that would look interesting. Um, just kind of like throwing in some logs and stuff to make it, I don't know, pop a bit, I guess? I don't know if it, I don't think that's really the right word to use here, but sure. Um, you know what, let's get some of the gray terracotta. I like that gray and black terracotta are literally like, you know, just varying shades of brown. Um, okay, so let's do like that and just see if that adds in some interest to the exhibit. Um, just by messing around with the uh, the backgrounds a lot. And we'll fly back inside here. Yeah, that actually does pretty well, I think. That does pretty well for the exhibit. Okay, so we can start chucking water in here so we can actually decorate it now. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> again... Gonna be kind of rushing these because in about 20 minutes I need to try and get five <laughs> exhibits online. Oh my goodness, why do I do this? I could, I should have just made this like two episodes, shouldn't I? You know, two more Amazon episodes where we just kind of build stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I do think this was the way I wanted to kind of cap off the Amazon area. Um, because like I've kind of said, um. This series isn't meant to be super long. Like, this is kind of meant to be a shorter... Oh, oh, I, I messed up here. That's the wrong block, Caden. There we go. Um, like I said at the very beginning of this series, and we were kind of planning out, this one is kind of meant to be a shorter series than the last wildlife park was, just because that wildlife park went on for absolute ages, and kind of, I think at least, got a bit drawn out, and, you know, like, started to lose a lot of steam. So I'm like, you know what, let's try and avoid that this time around and, you know, avoid just, you know, completely going too far overboard and making too big of a zoo type thing. Plus the difference with this one and why I kind of want to not rush it, but kind of remind myself to keep this a bit smaller is obviously because I have to build a roof over this whole thing. This has to be a building and... Yeah, I'm gonna have to renovate the entrance. Speaking of which, um, I have no idea when this episode's going to be. I'm, I'm thinking if I had to wager, uh, I'll probably make this video some point down the line when we, uh, when we what? Uh, oh, when we finished all of the tanks in the aquarium. Just a reminder again that the aquarium is not the only building we're doing. We're going to have like an arctic area and a bird area as well potentially. So yeah, this isn't the only thing. Um, oh, that's what people suggested. I do this so that way shaders work a bit better with it, I think. I don't remember really. It's been a while since I kind of looked at all the comments on these videos. You guys have been very helpful, so thank you all for that. Um, you guys have given me a lot of good suggestions on stuff to do. But yes, the piranha. Are these the mo creatures ones? Something tells me these aren't mo creatures. Oh no. I thought mo creatures had a piranha, didn't they? I was pretty sure they did. But anyway, there we go. And let's just quickly look. Where are th are they all at the top? Okay, yes, yeah, so these are aquatic odyssey. Great. <laughs> Oh, good job, Aquatic Odyssey. All, I swear, none of the fish in this mod work. 
<laughs> Which is a real shame because, you know, like that was kind of the whole point of an aquarium, right? Like fish that look cool while swimming. But yeah, we'll get some cooler stuff in soon. Um, not the Arapaima, unfortunately. Uh, as much as I love the Arapaima and in real life and in aquariums, uh, once again, it's an aquatic odyssey fish, which means it just don't work at all in the slightest. You know, it's, you know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't harp on the mod that much, but you know, it is kind of like, if you're going, if your main goal is to add in aquatic animals, like you could at least try to have them work a bit better, right? Like maybe, you know, give them a bit of a better swimming AI, I guess. I don't know, man. I was gonna say, like, I guess there aren't many good or uh, creatures in this version of Minecraft that can swim well, but there are. The Guardians, heck, even if you just gave them Guardian AI but disabled the aggression on it, like, these things would work fine. But, yeah, anyway, it's not really worth, you know, complaining about. It's like, whatever. We're probably going to 1.16 anyway at some point soon, which is gonna be really cool. I'm very much looking forward to that because there's so many cool mods, obviously. That will, once again, I, I know I'll keep mentioning this, but it'll probably lead to some issues where uh, tanks will just kind of end up being really empty because we will have lost certain fish in certain areas, and then we'll have to go back and add more tanks into other areas because, well, you know, they ended up getting more animals than initially expected. So, yeah. Uh, but anyway, that'll be really cool. I'm so looking forward to that. Uh, Zawa going to 1.16 is awesome, and I cannot wait. Um, incredibly looking forward to that. So yeah, Zawa team, if you guys want to send me a preview of the, uh, the 1.16 release to review, I will gladly showcase it. <laughs> I, I don't think they will, but you know what? I can hope. I can hope. I can dream, okay, people? I can dream. Um... Let's just chuck in some more stone to make this work a bit better. Uh, yeah, okay. There we go. I mean, this is basically what we did for the, uh, what are, what are they called? The dolphins, yeah. And actually, I was debating whether or not I was even going to put an Arapaima tank in because I did throw Arapaima. A different, it's a different species, I guess, but I did throw some Arapaima in with the dolphin enclosure or the river dolphin enclosure because uh i don't know it felt cool to kind of have another big uh fish type animal aquatic animal in the uh in the exhibit so i was like yeah that might work well um so yeah that then made this be like well isn't this kind of redundant to have an arapaima enclosure people have already technically seen the arapaima because you know it's it's literally in an enclosure already but you know what? I figured we'll go with it because I'm sure if I didn't make an Arapaima enclosure in the uh, Amazon River section, people were going to complain about it in the comments. So I figured, you know what? Let's just, you know, skip all that noise and just throw it in. Um, all right, let's get some gravel. Oh, yep, completely forgot about that. You know what? We don't need gravel. Gravel's for nerds. Unfortunately, I'm a nerd, which means gravel is for me, but you know, what can you do? What can you do? What can you do? You just gotta, just gotta accept it and move on with life. All right, there we go. I don't get why I'm trying to, in all honesty, the only time I've found these Aquatic Odyssey fish to work is when you don't put any details into their exhibits and it's just a box. Then they work really, really well. You do anything more than that and they stop working pretty quickly, which is, again, very, very sad because you know me, guys. I, I like I like making nice exhibits. I like making pretty things with lots of cool spaces for animals to go. And it's it's always sad when the animals won't actually use it. Like the Diplodocus in uh, Fossils and Archaeology, or I guess the former Diplodocus in uh, Fossils and Archaeology, considering they fixed it now, and it's awesome, and I have enjoyed watching them wander around for once, <laughs> considering I spent like... I spent like six episodes and like several hours of my life building them an enclosure, like a pretty, a fairly massive exhibit. And then they just never used it for months, uh, probably nigh on almost a year. And yeah, to finally have them explore that was actually amazing and I really enjoyed that. That was pretty gratifying. Um, All right, we can throw in some plants now. Uh, You know what? We're gonna raise the, uh, what's it called? Also, if my voice is a bit different, I woke up not too long ago, and this is really the first time I've really spoken today, so, you know, semantics and such, voice being 
weird whatnot. Not that anyone really cares, I'm sure, you know. You know, it's... Who cares, really? It's just a voice. At the end of the day... Uh, plus, I'm pretty sure most people don't watch these videos for my voice or commentary. I'm sure most of you just watch it for either background noise, because I know a lot of people do that. I mean, heck, I do that, so... I, I would expect lots of people to do that kind of stuff. Or, you know, it's... Uh, oh, what is it called? Uh, you just watch it for the builds. Which, you know what? If you watch it for the builds, let me know. Let me know what your fa- You know what, guys? Let me know what your favorite build so far in this series has been, you know? Let me know what you guys have enjoyed. Mostly so that way I know what you guys really want to see, so I can try and do more, you know, exhibits like that, because... You know, I want to know what you guys- what you guys haven't liked so far, what you guys want to see more of. Because that's a pretty good way to run a series like this. Alright, oh, we're running out of night vision. Night vision! Come on, there we go. All right, we'll just chuck four of them in. They're not going to move, and I'm sure I've chucked in enough lily pads and such now that they won't really escape, which is good. Are you guys just, yep, you guys are just stuck up there. I swear though, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, tapir piranha, there, I know, I know Mo Creatures has a piranha. And I know I have Mo Creatures on here. Don't they have a piranha? I was like 99% sure they did. Whatever. Anyway. Um, okay, so we got that, that. Uh, we got two more actual exhibits, and that would be our capybaras, which are going over here, and we'll just give them a little pond. It's not going to be a very big capybara enclosure, and we're not going to put many of them in, because there's not a ton of space in here, and it would be cruel to throw in probably more than like three. So we're only going to throw like three in, because, yeah. Although I'm sure it's probably way too small for even three. Maybe we can give them a nice little outdoor area over here somewhere or I can expand the exhibit out. We'll see, you know, it just kind of depends um, what I end up uh, having time for down the line. Um, all right, let's throw in like a tree trunk or two just to kind of, you know, add some less artificialness to the background of the exhibit. Um, and then we'll throw it like that and then we can throw some leaves in to, you know, again, make the background a bit less artificial. Like that. I was gonna throw some birds in here. I was gonna throw like macaws and stuff. Um, but yeah, I completely forgot about that uh, when I was building and uh, yeah, that just ended up meaning no macaws in this area. Luckily we will be throwing macaws and several other cool looking birds in, in either a, another section of this building or we'll throw them into their own special building. <laughs> I feel like this this world and this project in general are very quickly just becoming, hey, what did I not build in the last zoo that everyone really wanted? Let's throw that in here so that way, you know, I, I can get everyone at least some exhibit or uh, building that they had requested previously. And I know, I know an aviary was a really popular Thing. I, like, I, I, I can't remember how many suggestions I got for it, but it was a lot. Lots and lots and lots of people had wanted a uh, capybara, not capybaras, um, an aviary of some sort in the, in the last zoo, and I just never really got around to doing that. Okay, that must be a water plant. Is it a water plant? What is this? It just doesn't work, apparently. Um, alright, and then we can... Okay, that doesn't work. That's fine. We can get like some more flowers in here. Kind of make it a bit prettier. Yeah, that's not terrible. Not terrible at all. Um, I'm pretty sure capybaras would need like mud or something, right? I don't have mud. <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay. One. Two. You know what, we'll just do two. I, I, I think throwing three in is too many. Um, we do need to cap this off though. So what are we gonna, I guess we should just take this block, right? Uh, our topmost block, especially now that I've thrown in like the, the leaves and stuff, it'll work a bit better. We can just do like, like this up here. And um, I'll figure out what the roof is gonna be later. Um, but yeah, same thing over here. We'll just kinda do this and when we get leaves and stuff in, this should look a lot better. Oh yeah, by the way, this is our anaconda enclosure, if, if you couldn't figure that out. Um, 
yeah, so we'll just check another layer on and then grab that. I don't know why I put a rock feature in this one, but not, I, I don't really get why the, some of the design choices I made with this area, but you know what? They're working out in the end. Oh, that was something. So I was actually originally, right? When I was uh, building all this, um, I was gonna throw the, uh, oh, wow, voice crack much, you know? Man, my voice is just like the weirdest thing today, isn't it? Um, I was originally gonna throw the uh, the dwarf crocodiles in here because I don't have a caiman, but I was like, oh man, a caiman would be awesome. But once again, I just didn't end up doing it because I kind of ran out of space. Um, you know what? Let me know in the let me know, guys, uh, if you would like to see the uh, me use the dwarf crocodile as the caiman. Uh, I guess we can throw it in here. I might do a freshwater Asian area, uh, just cause, what is it? We have like, oh, we have another otter we could use as an Amazon river otter, don't we? Cause we used this, did we use the small claw otter in the, uh, in this exhibit? Yeah, we did. Oh, so we still have another otter. So we have a river otter. Oh, maybe, you know what, guys? I think we're going to have to do another Asian air, or not Asian, we're going to have to do another Amazon exhibit section, aren't we? Yeah, we totally are. So, you know what? Never mind. Uh, you guys know it's coming. We're going to do uh, probably some river otters, and uh, we're going to use a dwarf crocodile as a caiman, because I don't actually have access to a caiman, which is unfortunate. Um, I swear there used to be a mod that had caimans in it. I don't remember what that mod would be called or what it was, but I, I'm pretty sure there used to be a mod with caimans. Maybe I'm just hallucinating that though, you know? I've played so many animal mods over the years, I could very much not be remembering, you know, or be misremembering something as not being what it actually was. Uh, so yeah, it's possible there never was a Cayman mod, and I'm just delusional. And maybe- oh, you know what I'm think- I wonder if I'm thinking of Planet Zoo, because I know Caymans got added to that- what it- the Cuvier's Cayman, yeah. Oh, they look adorable. I love them. Um, but yeah, uh, let's throw some more of this in, and some more decorative stuff to get this look kind of cool, and what is, ooh, reed grass, yes. Wait, I can place them on top of each other? Oh, oh, only too high, only too high. Wait, they're not connected. That's kind of cool looking though, so you know what, I'm gonna leave it like that. I like that. <laughs> it's weird, like me. <laughs> yes, um, all right. And there's our anaconda. Also, if people are like, oh, these exhibits aren't as detailed as like the reptile house ones, I know. They're kind of not meant to be as detailed as the reptile house because the reptile house obviously was kind of, I mean, I'm kind of just stealing most of my ideas right now, at least for some of these exhibits, just straight from the, rep the reptile house because why wouldn't I? I mean, that thing was awesome and is something we're definitely going to be throwing in other zoos at some point down the line. Um, but again, because I've done most of this in that place, uh, you know, it's kind of like, well, do I really want to repeat what I've already done or would I rather just kind of, you know, uh, make some simple versions, especially since these aren't really the main focus of the zoo. You know, the main focus is obviously far more on fish and these are just kind of some extra ones. I mean, that's not to say I won't come back and detail these more. Um, oh, these are so cool looking. Well, let's get a couple of... Whoa, there's so many different textures! Oh, that's awesome. I love these. All right, and uh, yeah. Plus, like I said, I have like 20-ish minutes to record all this, so I can't necessarily make the most detailed exhibits. Although that actually looks really good. <gasps> I did not know they could do that. That's amazing. That's actually incredible. I love that tremendously. Oh, oh, there's the anaconda. I think I made the anaconda enclosure a bit too big. Or not too big, I think I made it too deep. It should be wider, not as deep, because it's kind of hard to see it when it's that deep. That's a good one. 
Obviously, the piranhas are at the top, and then... Okay, the air pipe are kind of working. That's cool. All right, anyway, it's shader time, because shaders. Uh, Silver's fiber 1.24? I think that's what we use. Yeah, that is what I use for just about every video. Oh, stretching. Man, my back feels like... I don't know. Pointing like 26 different directions. Uh, all right, there we go. Ooh. That? It's kind of weird looking, but also very cool. And the piranhas? Oh, it's because I didn't throw lights in the exhibits. That's that's definitely a problem. <laughs> I don't know why that got me so <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> I love these things. These might be my new favorite animals. <laughs> so derpy. They're incredible. They are incredible. All right, well, that's okay. That's looking pretty good. That's awesome. Uh, you know what? Let's quickly... Uh, I guess we need sea lanterns real quick, don't we? And I definitely am going a bit over time. Sea lanterns to light up the expert. Uh, where is my escape? Escape? Oh, we need to probably close this off a bit, don't we? Oh, I actually kind of like that. You know, if they weren't doing that and there was a bit more light actually coming in, like, I like how murky that is. That's actually really cool. And that's... Yeah, that actually works really well, too. You know what? I'm really happy with these builds. I need to bring more light in here. I kind of forgot to do that. Uh, where would they go? I guess it'd be kind of like... Probably like right there, and then one on either side here. And then... I don't... Oh, I made all this even. I, I really messed up with that. Well, anyway, I think that's really all we have for today. So thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed this. Um, I know these exhibits on their own aren't the necessarily the greatest builds I've ever done, but I think altogether it really just does come together super well to kind of tie off uh, our Amazon area. Unless you guys, of course, want me to come back and do a River Otter and Cayman exhibit next episode, in which case we'll be doing another thing of the Amazon area. But Oh man, I, I really do think just all together this this whole Amazon section is quickly becoming my favorite. Especially since it leads from like here, which is already an incredible looking area, and then just come through a massive tank like this, straight over here, and then Arapaima, Capybaras, Piranhas, Tree Frogs, and Anaconda. Like, this area is becoming super duper cool. Well, anyway, I guess that's long enough to... <laughs> For me to ramble. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next episode, and uh, until next time, guys, see ya.